My sweet Catherine, you are the first girl that I ever truly loved and the first that I told I love you. I remember talking on the phone with you early in our relationship and right after we would hang up whispering, I love you, Catherine, because I was too scared to tell you. And even though you couldn't hear it, I meant it just as much then as I mean it now. Cole, I am so happy to be here with you today. When I think back on our years together, I feel grateful for you and the way that our lives have been joined together. I like to think that a part of me always knew you'd be the man that I wanted to marry. Our love has always been so natural, steady, and ever-growing. You are an honorable man with a beautiful soul. I admire the lighthearted wit you bring to all situations and the wisdom you have that is always spot on. The way that you love the Lord is incred incredibly admirable, and this love shows through you in all parts of your life. I can't wait to see you be the sweetest father to our kids and watch you lead our family with God at the forefront. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. Just prettier than, than I could have ever imagined. To be in love with someone is a vulnerable thing. And to be honest, the only women that I truly loved and knew that they unconditionally loved me were my sister, my mom, my nana, and my momo. But our love is special. It's special because it's a gift given by God only to me. I see it in the special moments that only we get to share. The look you give me when I tell you I have tea to spill. <laughs> your smile and your genuine laugh when we tell jokes. And your little lip that puckers as you cry when we had to say goodbye and start long distance. These and so many more remind me just how special our love is. Cole, I love who you are. I love the connection we share. I can confidently say that I am the most blessed woman in the world because I get to marry you. It is for these reasons that you have my full devotion from this day forward. Cole, I promise to be your greatest encourager in all things. I promise to pray for you daily and support you through all stages of life. I vow to share my heart with you and promise to continually invest in us. I can't wait to grow old with you and continue our life together. I love you today and every day to come. It is a love that I've seen modeled to me by how my pa loves my Momo, my grandpa and how he loved my Nana, and the love between my dad and my mom. One night I was at Scott's Fish buff Buffet with Momo and Paul, and uh, he was telling me about this time that he stood up for what was right despite what he stood to lose. And throughout the entire story, I just remember the love in Momo's eyes as she looked at him and kept saying, if you want to see a man of integrity, you look at Paul. If you want to see a man of character, you look at Paul. And it really struck me that she was so proud of her husband because he was an example of what a man of God should be. In that time, the Lord reminded me of Titus 2.7, which says, in all things, show yourself to be an example. I cannot promise to be a perfect husband because I can never be perfect. But like my dad, my grandpa, and my pa before me, I vow to love you even in the most difficult times, to serve you, to walk in purity, to honor you with my deeds and my words, and to be an example to you and our future children of how a man of God walks with integrity and character. I love you, Catherine, and one day our children will speak of the special love that we had for each other, even unto death. Who gives this bride to be? Her mother and I. I call, take you, Catherine. I call, take you, Catherine. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. 
To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as, both, as long as we both shall live. With this ring I be wed. With this ring I be wed. Today, Cole and Catherine have entered into the covenant of marriage before God and before you, their friends and families. Therefore, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Colton, you make us your bride. And now, it is my absolute honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Lockerbie. Cole, Catherine, we're really excited for you to make this decision and this journey. And I'll, I'll say for us and our friends, everyone here, that we're fully supportive of you and can't wait to see you grow in your, in your relationship as a couple and a, as you develop your own family. I'd like to pose a toast. Cole and Catherine, we, we love you and pray that you will continue to be blessed, that your lives will continue to be uh, enriched and uh, Get, get your guidance and strength from the Lord and your friends and your family. So cheers to you and to many years. Catherine has been a very special person in my life for as long as I can remember, like actually since day one. She has been my very first friend and she's still my very best friend in the whole world. You were always there there for me and just always around. I remember when you first called me and told me about Cole and your first semester at Liberty. You were so giddy and excited and that giddiness really never went away. You always had this sparkle in your eye when you talked about him. Cole, it is evident how much you love Catherine and um, you're such an amazing man and I know you'll lead her in love. Um, Catherine, it's clear that the Lord brought you two together on purpose with a purpose. And I'm just so excited to see what the Lord has in store for the both of you. Cole had been talking to me about you for quite some time now. And I just, I kept thinking to myself, I was like, okay, Cole, like there's absolutely no way that this girl can meet the expectations that you have placed on her. Just like all the great things he was saying about her. And Catherine, let me say, you just, you blew him right out of the water. I, I couldn't, he you couldn't have surpassed them any better. Even better than Cole had described you as. God genuinely designed these two for each other. The way they operate hand in hand together, step in step to actively pursue God's will in their lives, just says it all about how God has had their union planned since before the day they were born. Cole, Catherine, God knows the plans he has for you. He's gonna use each one of you and your marriage to do amazing things for the kingdom. I love you both endlessly. I'm so proud of you and excited to see this next chapter of y'all's lives.